Hello. Hello. <laughs> Is someone, someone there? there? Are you, Are you okay, okay, little girl? girl? Hello? Hello? Little girl. Little girl. Hello everybody, this is Moses from Wilderness Cave, here doing another episode of Monster of the Week with the Betrayal board game. A recap of the last episode, we had Tarok and Gunter stay near the magical laboratory haven that is at the entrance hall. Bianca, though, went to the upper landing and ended up in a room named the Gallery. We pulled an omen card, and the omen card read as follows. Girl companion, a girl trapped alone, you free her. Due to this omen card, Bianca gained a plus one bonus for her cool and sharp attributes. Although we do not understand why this girl was trapped, who trapped her, and why no one else in this entire manner didn't notice her. Now let's get going with the scene setup to see if it has been modified through Mythic. The scene that I have written is where the party is in their newly acquired room and the girl companion is talking to herself. Let's get a d10 and roll for the scene modification. Our chaos factor is 6, so a roll of 6 or less, then our scene has been modified. And we rolled a 7, so the scene is not modified, thankfully. So we continue the scene as written. Now let's begin the scene. Bianca woke up from her nightmare, screamed, and her breathing was fast. She also woke up Tarak and Gunter. Tarak looked at her and asked, Are you okay, Bianca? Bianca looked at both of them, started to calm down, and her breathing started to normalize. She then wiped the sweat off her forehead and replied, I'm fine. Just a nightmare. That's all. Gunter says, All those nights at sea, huh, Captain? It starts creeping up on you, doesn't it? She responds, Yeah, the sea. That's what it was. Tarok says, Well, Bianca, we're going to head down to the ballroom. The event is going to start soon. At least we got a quick nap before we head down to that party. Tarok and Gunther then leave the room. Bianca began getting out of her bed to get ready. But as she put her feet down on the floor, she heard a faint voice. One. Two, three, four, toasting wine glasses, pour. Bianca called out in the room and asked, Who's there? Bianca then saw the little girl in the corner of the room. She called out to her, Little girl, who are you talking to? The little girl stood up and looked at Bianca. She then lifted her arm and pointed past Bianca's head towards the wall behind her. The little girl then said, she waits, she waits for, for you. you. Always, Always waiting. waiting. Hey, Captain Bianca, are you coming? Bianca heard Tarak yell out to her from outside the bedroom. Bianca yelled back, Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll be right there. She then looks around and doesn't see the little girl in the corner of the room any longer. And then she looked back at the wall where the little girl was pointing towards. But there was nothing on the wall. Before we go any further... We woke up in the master bedroom, and there is an omen symbol on that room tile. So that means that we have to draw an omen card from the deck. The omen card that was drawn states a book, a diary or lab notes. Gain two knowledge while having this book, lose if the book is lost, make a haunt roll. Now I'm combining Betrayal and Monsters of the Week. So to keep things running smooth and fair, I can't continue adding plus two or plus one to attributes that I'm getting from these cards. I'll become overpowered pretty quickly. So what I'll do is that in each new scene, I can ask the book two questions using Mythic. Now let's do our haunt roll. Since I have three omen cards, that means I have to roll a two or less 
of all the dice added together. Let's get all these dice together. Roll. And no haunt. That's good. Now I'm curious, is there something dark and evil happening, or is this just Bianca's imagination? Let's roll in Monsters of the Week for read a bad situation. We roll a 2d6 plus sharp for that. Bianca would have gotten a plus 2 for sharp due to the girl companion she saved from the trap, but since she can't find her in the room, she has to roll a plus 1 instead of a plus 2 for sharp. And we rolled a 9. Plus 1, so a 10, which is a success. I now am able to ask three questions. I can hold some or all the questions to ask later on as well. Now let me look through the list to see what questions I could ask. Okay, I got one. I'm going to ask the Fate Chart in Mythic the following question. Are there any dangers we haven't noticed? The Chaos rank is 6. I'm going to put the odds at 50-50, so a roll of 65 or less is a yes. Let's get out a D100 and roll. And we rolled a 54, which is a yes. So there are dangers we haven't noticed. Okay, so that answers this close-ended question. Let's use another hold. We have two left, but after this question, we will have one hold left. Let me choose an open-ended question this time, such as, what's the biggest threat? Now let's try to find out what the biggest threat is. We're going to roll on the mythic event meaning action and subject tables. Let's roll a d100 for action, which is a 76. Mistrust. And let's re-roll the d100. And we got an 87. Magic. Mistrust magic. Wow. Now, what does mistrust actually mean? You know what? Let me look that up one second. Okay. Mistrust is a complete lack of trust that tends to not be based on experience, but more of instinct or gut feeling. So someone here has a gut feeling that magic is useless or hopeless. But who and why is that the biggest threat? Well, we might find that out in the next episode. I'm going to end the scene here. Now time for some bookkeeping with Mythic. For starters, the chaos rank is going to be raised from 6 to 7. It's getting pretty chaotic. Any new characters? No. We didn't meet anybody new. Any new threads? Yes, there is. I am going to add to the thread list who mistrusts magic. Bianca still has one hold left for read a bad situation. And she found a book that she can get answers from. She can ask two questions from it in each scene. I thank you all for watching this episode from Wilderness Cave. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I hope to see you in the next episode. Happy gaming, everyone. Bye.